8.30 a.m. and a city stirs into life. What better moment to start our story of Joan Davis, American working girl, than this one when the frantic, dizzying tempo of another modern day begins. All over this great land, men and women are on their way to take their places behind their desks, beside their counters, at their machines, each a tiny cog in the gigantic mechanism that is America at work. And now, let's join Johnny! Yep, there I am. Ain't I the little darling? Look at that sweet little face. And it's the kind of a face you know you can trust. See how frank and open it is? I'm getting restless now. My subconscious mind tells me that it'll soon be time to get up. In fact, part of me is up already. <laughs> oh, look, I'm dreaming. Ooh, it's a nice dream, too. I'm dreaming about that Mr. Benson again, the new tenant down the hall. Oh, is he a dreamboat? Big and tall and strong as an ox, but much prettier. It's always the same dream, too. I'm in his arms waltzing, and he's telling me how lovely I am. He tells me again. And on and on we waltz. Suddenly the music stops. And now, now it's coming, the moment I've waited for. I can see it in his eyes. He's going to ask me to be his wife. Oh, speak, Mr. Benson, speak. Well, you don't have to yell. I'm not in the next room. Oh, oh, just the dream again. I might have known. Take a quick shower. <laughs> Took me a little longer than usual this morning. I gee, I wish I could get that Mr. Benson off my mind. Honestly, I haven't been able to think straight. I wonder if I'll ever really get to meet him. He's so handsome, so strong and athletic. Every morning. <laughs> I gotta get that thing fixed. Huh? Who can that be? Good morning. My name is Jim Benson. <laughs> Benson, Jim Benson. You uh, you probably don't know who I am. Oh, but I do. You're the new tenant in room five. Well, don't just stand out there, won't you? Uh, won't you? Uh, won't I what? Just name it, and won't you? <laughs> I'm uh, sorry to barge in like this, but I, I started to cook my breakfast just now and found out I didn't have any eggs, and being it were neighbors, I, I thought maybe you'd lend me one. Lend you one? Come on in, I'll cook you one. <laughs> don't want to bother you. Why quit now? You've been at it all night. <laughs> I, I mean, this is... Really, I'm so excited. 
do come in. I, I was just going to fix my own breakfast, really, and I, and I just got eggles of oods. <laughs> I mean, oodles of eggs. Well, if you're sure, it won't be any trouble. Oh, no, not at all. I do hope you'll excuse the way the place looks. <laughs> I don't have a maid. The bed would be too small for both of us. <laughs> oh, that's yeah. okay. Well, it's this bed that really makes things look so messy. I wish I could get it up on the wall, but I have trouble with well, it. Allow me, Miss Davis. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you could even open windows on trains. <laughs> oh, yes, I always keep myself in shape. You certainly picked out a nice shape to keep yourself in. I firmly believe in physical culture. <laughs> Look at my physique. Who stopped? <laughs> Boy, there's acres and acres of it. <laughs> you don't need a foreman, do you? Well, say, it's getting kind of late. Maybe we better be getting to our breakfast. Oh, yes, please. Just come over here and sit down. Uh -huh. Right there. I'll have everything ready in just a jiffy. Oh, well, can I help? Oh, not at all, no. My goodness. <laughs> Excuse me, I, I'm a little excited. You know, it's not every day I have breakfast with a man. It's not even every year. In fact, it's just plain not every. <laughs> You just love them. You know, I cooked eggs better than anybody else when I went to cooking school. Oh, is that so? Yeah. Other girls were at the head of the class with meat and vegetables, but I was the egghead. <laughs> well, this is exactly right. Never eat too much or too little at breakfast. Either one can be very bad for your health, you know. Really? <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, how many lumps do you take in your eyes? Uh, your coffee? Oh, one, please. Oh, thank you. What's the matter? Miss Davis. Oh, I'm so sorry I left the wrapper on, didn't I? I don't know what's the matter with me today. <laughs> it's something unusual, believe you me, Elsa. Now, what were you saying again? <laughs> I was talking about health, how important it is in a person's life. Oh, it is, but... Uh... Mr. Benson, aren't there other things that are important, too, like, well, uh, uh, marriage and uh, babies and <laughs> stuff? Oh, naturally, I believe those things are very important. You do? You really do? Oh, oh yes, indeed. Uh, you're not eating, Miss Davis. No. <laughs> Must eat, you know. Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> yes, I, I firmly believe that every man should prepare for fatherhood and that every woman should prepare for motherhood. Oh, so do I. If they didn't, I would know who to tell to get ready. <laughs> oh, yes. But I also believe that in every marriage, the prime consideration should be the health of the two parties involved. You know, we owe a debt to succeeding generations that we can only repay by bestowing upon them strong minds and, and strong bodies. Yes, indeed. Don't you believe that too, Miss Davis? Oh, I do. Indeed, I do. Ha <laughs> ha. That's my creed. It's against nature to mate the physically strong with the physically weak. Because, wait. <laughs> is, is something the matter, Miss Davis? Oh, no, the chicken just laid a bad cup of coffee. That's... <laughs> oh, I, I'm afraid I must be gone. Thank you very much. Oh, no, no, please. Uh, have a piece of toast. Or a piece of plain bread and butter. That's even faster, honestly. It won't take a second. No, please don't go to any trouble. I, I've got no, to meet a friend no. downtown at 8.30, and I, it's almost... But really, you you do believe in, in marriage and babies and stuff like that, then, huh? Well, yes. Oh, I'm so happy that you do. You know, I'm so happy you believe in those things. Here you are. Well, no... Thank you, really. I must be going, Miss Davis, but I'll see you again. Oh, I see. Well, so it won't go to waste these days, you know. Yeah. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> Miss Davis, huh? before I leave, may I say just three little words to you? Three little words? Oh, yes, Mr. Penson. Say them, say them. You're cracking up. 
Marcus, <laughs> unstrung. You've got to build yourself up physically, otherwise. Yeah, I know. It's against nature to make the physically strong to the physically weak. Yeah. Well, I'll build myself up or die in the attempt, Mr. Benson. <laughs> That's the spirit. <laughs> well, goodbye, Miss Davis. Loves me. I can feel it in my sacroiliac. <laughs> Ten fifteen, and she isn't here yet. Ah, late every single morning, late. That Davis girl. Why did I hire her in the first place? I'll never understand. Oh, I hate myself. I despise myself. Oh, dear. I hate you. <laughs> no. I could never stay mad at you. <laughs> but that Davis girl, I swear when she arrives, I'll kill her. I'll, I'll strike her. Oh, good morning, Anatole. Oh, Mrs. Huntington, my dear. Mrs. Huntington. My, you look positively radiant this morning. Oh, thank you, Anatole. Uh, where's Miss Davis? You know, I, I'm in the mood for a new hat today. She hasn't shown up yet. Can you imagine that? Hasn't shown up yet. Why do I go on making hats, slaving away up to my armpits and ostrich feathers every day? And no one to help me sell them. Oh, no, no, Anatole. Oh, good morning, boss. Good morning, Mrs. Huntington. Oh, so you finally decided to arrive, did you? I'm sorry. Miss Davis, do you realize what the hour is? What's your excuse this time? What was it last time? Frankly? <laughs> I don't remember. Well, if you can't remember, how do you expect me to? Oh, for heaven's sake. Now, look, Mrs. Huntington is in the mood for a very smart chapeau. See that she's taken care of immediately. Yes, and please. don't give me any more trouble. Sometimes I swear I don't know whether to kill you or kill myself. May I make a suggestion? No! <laughs> get busy, get busy. Now, uh, uh, was there something special you had in mind, Mrs. Huntington? Won't you have a chair? Oh, right here, Aunt Julia. Yes, I think I'd, I'd like something giddy and gay, but very conservative. <laughs> well, I, I think I have just the hat for you. Splendid, yes, idea. this will bring out the real you. Oh. <laughs> but isn't, isn't that feather over long? Oh, no. It might come in handy. Some enchanted evening, you might want to tickle a stranger across a crowded room. <laughs> oh, dear, no, thanks. I think I'd better try something new. Don't like it. Oh, dear, I knew this was going to be difficult. It's so hard to please my husband. Your husband? You, you know how a husband is. She, a husband. I simply must get something that will please him. <laughs> oh, oh, this is very cheap and very becoming. How much is it? Huh? Oh, uh, 98.50, including the hat. Yeah, we got to... <laughs> <laughs> Well, but this is the bunch. Oh, I don't mean. Oh, boys, I'm so sorry, Mrs. Huntington. When you might mention husbands, I, I just fell apart. My oh. mind's been on husbands all day. Oh, Miss Davis, have you met a man? Yeah. Oh. And what a man. Gee, when I even think of him, I go from a size 34 to a size 38 and goosebumps alone. Oh. <laughs> My dear, how romantic. And, and does he love you very much? No, he doesn't even know I'm alive. You see, he likes women, muscular women, with mm, biceps and triceps and, look at me, no seps. <laughs> My dear, I know just what you need. Huh? The cause at Emerson's health farm. Mm. Yes, here's the card. Emerson's health farm. My dear, they could practically make you over. I was there last month and look at me. I've lost 20 pounds. <laughs> I think I know where you can find them. <laughs> they, they will do just make you over. And the next time your boyfriend sees you, I'll warrant you he'll ask for a date. Oh, that sounds great, but that boss of mine would never give me the time off. You see, he's working on a new invention now, the eight-day week. Oh. <laughs> but wait a minute. Supposing I got sick and needed a doctor right away or something. That's 
wonderful, my dear. Oh, but you'll have to hurry, because the only boat that goes up there leaves in 15 minutes. Oh, but I haven't had a bite to eat. I'm starving. Couldn't I just get a few bites? Oh, my dear, they'll give you plenty of nourishment at the farm. They feed you every hour. <laughs> now, remember, you're supposed to be very ill. Oh, I will, and thanks a million, Mrs. Huntington. Oh. Good luck, my dear. Thanks. Goodbye, Anatole. I'll be in again soon. Goodbye, my dear Mrs. Huntington. Yes, do hurry back, won't you? Ram ti da di da 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 the purple plague. It's nothing much in this stage, but you gotta watch it or it'll spread to your throat and uh, then your chest and finally your diaplooplus. <laughs> diaplooplus? Well, uh, what happens when it does reach your diaplooplus? You turn purple. Oh, good heavens. Well, isn't there anything you can do about it? Oh, yeah, I just go to a doctor and he gives me a shot. That keeps it from getting contagious. Contagious? Good heavens, you mean that maybe that I, that you, what, what, what are you waiting for? Go on and get your shot. Hurry up, get out of here, get busy. Hello, boss. Oh, dear. I hope she left in time. Oh, if I should get that dreadful disease, I'd... Uh-oh. I can feel it. <laughs> I can feel it in my diaplupus. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's too late. The purple plague. Oh, I've got it. Good heavens. I'm going to clash with the drapes. How do you do? Uh, I'm interested in taking your health course. Oh, yes. Won't you be seated, please? I'll get Miss Emerson for you. young woman. I'm Emerson. You wanted to see me? <laughs> yeah, I didn't expect to see so much of you. Uh, well, uh, you see, I I'm Joan Davis, and I'm very interested in taking your health course. Oh, that's fine, just fine. You're going to love it here. <laughs> well, I hope so. You see, I I'm trying to get a date with a certain young man who likes some husky. Oh, I see. Well, stand up. Come on, let's have a look at you. <laughs> Oh, that'll never do. That's got to be changed. That we got to get rid of entirely. Can I stay a girl? <laughs> Miss Davis, you're soft. You're all out of condition. You see that? Yeah. Oh! <laughs> well, what's the matter? I jabbed you there. Why are you rubbing that here? I think that's where your finger came out. <laughs> Oh, it's a crime to be in such a bad condition as you are. Hey, hit me in the stomach and see the difference. Go on, hit me. Ow! Oh, it's a trick, ain't it? You're wearing an iron girdle, I think. <laughs> that's solid meat, honey. <laughs> yep, that's the shape you're going to be in when I get through with you. Then that boyfriend of yours is going to be just nuts about you. Gee, what wonderful times we'll have. Sitting in the moonlight together, punching each other in the stomach. <laughs> Don't you worry. In one week's time, I'll have you as hard as nails. One week? Mm -hmm. Oh, I only got one day. You mean you're going to take my whole course in one day? Yeah, I'll have to. Well, at your game, I am. Come on, we better get down to the gym and get busy, right? Oh, pardon me, Miss Emerson. Before uh, we start all the strenuous stuff, I'd just like to tell you, I haven't had a bite to eat all day, and I'm so starved I could faint, really. Oh, don't you worry about a thing. Good, solid nourishment's one of the most important parts of this course. I'm just about to have a little bite so you can join me. When Elsie brings my snack, I'll tell her to bring you the special breakfast. <laughs> hey, uh, did you bring any gym clothes? Gee, no, I didn't. I left in... Oh, well, I guess we can fix you up. Come on, dear. We'd better get started right away. <laughs> okay, girl. to take the course. <laughs> Mrs. Phillips, what are you doing out of that cabinet? 
I don't want to get too much of it, Miss Emerson. You came here to lose weight. Get back in there. Yes. <laughs> okay, Miss Davis, step right here behind the screen. You'll find some gym clothes there. <laughs> Just take pot lots. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, right, here we go. <laughs> You want to the telephone again? begin this course until you get out here, so you might as well get here and start with the whole group. Right. Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> Those are the best gym clothes you could find back there, huh? Yeah, I guess my pot didn't have much luck, did it? <laughs> Come on, girl, stand up here and lie now. We'll start our first batch of exercises. You all ready? Oh! <laughs> Boy, does that thing work! <laughs> How do you like that? She's coming out one at a time. <laughs> All right, girls, come on now. We've got to get in line and get these exercises started right away. All right, Miss Davis, stand in line with all the rest of the people. Food. Oh, I'm no, Miss Davis. First, you're going to have some calisthenics. But I'm awful hungry. Please, Miss Davis, stand right there in line. All right, girls, put your hands on each other's shoulders so you can judge your distance. That's right. Now put your hands out in front of you like this. Now, when I start to count, that means go. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. A one, two, a one, two, a one, two, a one, two, one, two. <laughs> nourishment in carrots. You know rabbits eat carrots all the time and you won't find a healthier animal anywhere, will you? <laughs> now you'd like to be like them, wouldn't you? Well, I wasn't planning on such a large family. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Mr. Get that carrot up here and get it. You know the juice is all that you absolutely need. All right, just a minute now and I'll show you how to me. Give me the carrot, I'll show you how you fix it. <laughs> There you are. Drink it. Uh, but couldn't I just have no one little bite? No idea there's more nourishment in that little glass of carrot juice than there is in this whole plate of food. Now, let me tell you something about food. You know, food really is a very important <laughs> What you've got to do is learn. Some people think that food's the most important thing in the whole world. You've got to learn how to eat and have the look. Well, why would you believe that food is important is going to be very important to you, but if you're not really hungry, that's what's not. Diet? Diet. That's the most important thing in the whole wide world. All right, girls, on your toes. <laughs> okay, okay. Ready for your first exercise, you got? Okay, do now. Mrs. Martin, you're on the pulley wing. And Mrs. Ray, you're on the dumbbell. And Mrs. Phillips, you're on the push-up. Okay, Miss Davis, stand right over there. You take this. What is it? Medicine ball. Oh, I could never swallow that. <laughs> you don't swallow it, you'll pick it up. Oh. <laughs> oh, I think it'd be easy to swallow it. <laughs> Come on, Miss Davis, pick it up. Oh, you can't. Get away from there. Let me show you what I mean. Go on, stand over there and I'll show you what to do with medicine ball. All right, you ready? Here we go. Catch. Oh. <laughs> All right, get up. Come on, we have time to lose. Get up, pick it up. I'm a little weak. All right. <laughs> 
Oh, oh, Miss Davis, come over here and pick it up and don't waste so much time. We haven't got time to waste time. Hey, 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 let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Honestly, I wasn't trying to steal it, really. I'm so sorry. I... Pick it up and don't waste any more time. All right, come on. Let's pick it up. <sighs> Okay. Here we go. Get up, Miss Davis. Now we're into our next basket trick. Okay, you punch the bag. Which one? <laughs> right here. Into the punching. Right around here. This. And then you punch that punching bag. Okay, go ahead. Give it a good punch. <laughs> Mr. Davis, give that bag a punch. Oh. <laughs> Miss Davis, what's the matter with you? All right, let's suppose that's your boyfriend. He slapped your face. He blocked your eyes. He, he borrowed money from you. Then he ran off with another girl. All right, get in there and give him a punch. <laughs> That's the best you can do. Well, I don't want to lose him. <laughs> Miss Davis, get in there and start punching. Hurry up. That's it. All right, girls, it's time to eat. Come on, Ooh, everybody eat. Great. Remember now, you have just one I minute. Like this too. Just one minute. <laughs> <We're getting laughs> <great. laughs> for your muscles, and it gives you grace, and it's wonderful for poise. All right, I'm going to demonstrate it to you. Now, you stand right over there and watch me. You see, I take the scarf and I put it over my head like this, and now I begin. You ready? Okay. A one, two, a leap, a one, two, a leap, a one, two, a leap, a one, two, a leap. <laughs> okay, Miss Davis, right in the top. Oh, all right, girls, now you form a circle. All right, get in there. Now, I want you all to pretend that you're a little bird flying in the air. Are you all ready? When I start, ready, set, fly. One, two, fly. One, two, fly. One, two, fly. One, two, fly. Miss Davis, fly. One, two, fly. the other, so naturally you don't get as much to eat. Now remember, girls, you have exactly one minute. Oh, Mrs. Phillips. Yes? Uh, why don't you come over and sit by me? I've been dying to have a little chat with you. Why, well, I'd be delighted. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
Miss Davis. Oh, not you, Miss Davis. Oh. <laughs> Do you know, Miss Davis, you and I don't seem to be getting anywhere. She hates me because I'm still alive. <laughs> Miss Davis, you said you wanted to finish the course in one day. So come on, you've got to get busy. You're not anywhere near. Oh, no, you don't. You know, you haven't finished the class. I know you haven't. You haven't had the vibrator. You haven't had the Indian club. You haven't had the dumbbell. And look at the time it is. Yes, yeah, too late. Oh, no, it isn't too late at all. All right, hold up your hand. And hold up this hand. You said you were hungry. Open your mouth. Okay, there we go. Are we ready? Set. Exercise! Gee, at last, the moment I've been dreaming of. I never thought you'd ask me for a date so soon, Mr. Benson. Well, shall we go? I'm ready. We're off for a big evening. <laughs> <laughs> 